much, Eugene. Thank you very much. As you all know, good evening, good afternoon, good morning to dear friends wherever you are. This is a very important announcement. I had to interrupt my journey to make this very critical pronouncement because of what is happening in Biafra land. I received a very credible intelligence report right now that Okezi Bazo, Ifan Yubuani of Enugu State, and Dave Umahi, the governor of Ebony State. These three individuals have ganged up amongst themselves to tamper with the will of the people as expressly made known during the presidential election. We are not concerned about who does what and for whom. What is our primary concern is the sanctity of the vote of our people that what they have expressed on the ballot box must be respected. The Awusa Fulani Cabal have decided to use Okezi Azu Devo Mahi and Ifanyu Gwani of Enuku State to bring war and mayhem to our land. And how do they intend to do that? By giving Jubril 25% of the vote in Abia, 25% of the vote in Ebonyi, 25% of the vote in Enugu, because Obiano have managed to get them to annul or to partially accept the annulment of the elections in Anambra. This goes to the heart of what I've been explaining from day one, that your evil governors are evil. They have seen what Chibi Kamechi did in River State how our people were shot to pieces in River State, and the Fulani told them this morning to make sure they bring the war to our land. And how are they going to do it? By making sure that the result is falsified, that the will of our people as expressed on the ballot box will not be reflected, that the world will still think or will be made to think that APC has a footing in Biafra land, when that is not the case. What they are trying to do is not about zoo politics. It is not to do with making sure that Jubril continues, a Sudanese man continues in office. What they are trying to do is to convey to the world that Biafra land is still part of the Damnable Zoological Republic. And we can't allow this to hold. If you know Okezi Bazo, if you know Dave Umahi, if you know Ifan Yugwan of Enugu State, anybody who knows them must tell them if they attempt to falsify this very result, if they do anything at all to convey the misleading impression that somehow our people, this great family of IPOB, cast any vote for APC, they will live to regret it. That thing they're looking for, they will get it. And Amechi will not get away with the mayhem he caused the River State. None of them will get away with it. So that our people must now know that the enemies we have within the enemies we have in our land are these so-called governors and also to be Kamechi in River State. And they must not be allowed to get away with it. If we allow them to get away with it, what will happen? What they are trying to do this very night is to foment war, is to bring chaos into our land, and we cannot allow them. If you know Kesi Pasu, you must tell him. If you know Dave Umahi, you must tell him. If you know Ifan Yuguan, you must tell them. They cannot tamper with the will of the people. In the United Kingdom, they voted for Brexit, 51% to 48 In the United Kingdom, the government have said that the will of the people must be respected, even though today that a majority of the people are now saying, oh no, we prefer to be in Europe. That original vote that people cast is being honored and respected to this very day. That is the sign of stability. That is the sign of development. That is the sign of the people who are civilized enough to understand the sanctity of people's opinion as expressed on a ballot box. This nonsense can happen in Alamajiri, Ukrawasa. It can happen in the West with Tinubu. Okay, Zipa, Zoom, Defo, Maya, Defan, Ukwani cannot do it in Biafra land. They cannot, I am giving them a very clear warning so that the world will know what will come to them. If they attempt to send any vote, 
to INEC in, in, in Abuja, stating that Jubril received 25% of the vote in Abuja, in Ebony, and in Enugu, that land cannot contain them. I will issue an order. The land cannot take them. Let them take it or leave it. That brings to a conclusion this very important announcement. You must tell them what they are trying to do in our land. They are trying to try with us. We said we will not vote. They were begging us and saying, we'll do everything for you to go and vote. And we said, you will not respect the outcome. They said, no, don't worry, we will respect it. They put pressure from left, right, and center. They signed our document. We have not gone to the polls. That same result is what they want to tamper with. And we're saying this can never, ever happen in Biafra. It can never happen. Tinubu can do that nonsense in Yoruba land. With their agro lifestyle, that is entirely up to them. Okay, Zipazu cannot do it because he's living. Umayi cannot because he's living. If something applies to you, if you want, you cannot do that nonsense in Biafra land and get away with it. I assure you, if you, if you want to know if I am serious, tamper with those results and you see what will happen to you before seven days. Then you know if I'm bluffing or if I'm serious. Kuchia, thank you very much. Convey this message to Biafrans all over the world that these criminals serving Fulani cannot succeed. They can never, ever succeed. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. Because we are Biafrans. Thank you very much.